welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got this card of denial. Uh, you know, you might be going through a very, very difficult situation. You've got a very dark card over here. It's not coming to an end, but there's been a lot of toxic thoughts going uh, around in your head. You've been feeling very lonely, very isolated. You know, almost uh, as though you've been set adrift from everybody else. You can see this lady's really lying alone in this bed with all these snakes uh, around her. So, you know, maybe it's all negative thoughts. It could even be negative people around you uh, that are, are making you feel very, very um, lonely, very upset. But this cycle is now coming to an end. There's a sense of denial over here. You've got uh, Venus sitting in a Scorpio over here. So it's about... Um, you know, uh, maybe you had very intense feelings for somebody and you're feeling uh, very let down, very betrayed. Maybe that person was really nasty towards you, a very toxic person that you were dealing with. And, um, you know, this has, uh, you're not you're not facing some kind of truth as well about that particular relationship or maybe why uh, it wasn't working out. So, uh, in a sense, uh, a, a state of denial as well. Um, you've got the eight, uh, the ace of uh, wind over here, which is the ace of swords. So some realization coming to you over here with that realization card. But with the ace of, um, you know, a, a new clarity coming in. So maybe all this time spent, uh, the reason why it is coming, the cycle coming to an end is because you've had some kind of epiphany about uh, what had happened about uh, that situation and you have decided to cut ties with that particular past and move on you look uh, you know it looks like um uh, this has uh brought a lot of uh, it's something that's almost like a bolt from the blue so it's brought a lot of clarity in for you um whatever this new thing is that has been revealed and it also could have been a truth that has come to light uh, and now you're seeing things in a very different way. And there's also with that Ace of uh, Window, the Ace of Swords, is about cutting out that past because of that realization that came through for you. Now you've taken back your power. You've got the Emperor card over here. And this is uh, ruled by... Uh, Aries, and this is about taking control back of that situation again and, uh, you know, showing people exactly where you're coming from uh, and, uh, you know, taking authority with that emperor, taking your power back. Now you've got the full card, so you have started something brand new here uh, with this full card, a new cycle coming in for you. So the, everything in the past has now ended and you are now moving forward. Uh, there also seems like you have felt uh, that something is missing in your life and you may be going back to, uh, you know, redoing it or revisiting the past and um, starting to complete projects that you have finished, haven't finished in the past with that um, judgment card. So you've been called upon this to, uh, you know, finish off something that you have started in the past and maybe didn't quite complete. Um, this could also be people from the past emerging. So you could be bumping into old friends or old relationships and uh, maybe revisiting them again. So that could be the case. So going to the future, um, you've got the Oracle card over here, which is the card, uh, the um, card ruled by Virgo. So this is the Hermit card. So spending a lot of time by yourself, maybe going through a lot of spiritual growth as well. Maybe even doing some studying or even very, very focused on your work here. And also getting in touch with your emotional side over here. You can see this woman's got a uh, mermaid tail there, implying, you know, uh, the water element, uh, which is your emotions. Then you've got the Purifier card over here. So uh, maybe this person that you were dealing with uh, in the past, this is like the devil card, was very, very controlling. Uh, but also this card implies that, you know, you might um, be still having a lot of negative thoughts about uh, the situation, feeling a bit depressed or feeling a bit restricted by what had happened in the past. Um, like I said, that person could have been quite controlling and quite uh, very much a, a manipulator. Now, this could also mean that you're dealing with a Capricorn energy as well, with that uh, devil card and maybe they're still uh you know a bit in your life still controlling and trying to manipulate you as well so those are the energies within um those two weeks okay so i'm going to be using the um jane austen tarot of the main read 
I have put this deck in the description box to so have a look. Now you've got uh, the Lord of Teacups over here. So this could be, um, it could be you, uh, you know, um, spending a lot of time by yourself, really, uh, enjoying your own company over there. Um, but then, again, this could be, uh, you know, somebody that you're turning to for some kind of advice or support. Um, you could be getting some kind of professional uh, counseling as well with this Lord of Teacups, which is the King of Cups. Uh, but just, uh, you know, um, and it's really, really... A good advice and some pr profound advice uh, that you might need to be taking uh, and applying it to your life. Now, uh, with this, in this deck, you know, you can see this um, Lord of Teacups is quite satisfied. He's enjoying all the best stuff, everything. So, you know, you could be um, enjoying the fruits of all your labor or everything that you've done and celebrating your own independence as well with that Lord of Teacups. This could also be, you know, somebody that is, uh, you know, in your life that um, guides you. Uh, and it could be a father figure, or somebody that you go to for advice. And they're pretty, uh, you know, established. They've been through their own uh, hardships in the past. Uh, but they are, and they're able to give you some really good advice. So there's somebody there that um, is offering you some support uh, and some sort of constructive advice, really, on how to get through this particular situation. Now, you've got the Ten of Cup, uh, ten of coins over here, so you've ended uh, a relationship. Uh, it could be a marriage uh, because there seems to have been joint finances within that particular relationship and, uh, you know, you've uh, let it go and uh, you're moving on. Now, there could be, um, you know, um, there's money coming in as well with that ten of coins, so there could be a, have been a settlement as well from uh, that particular situation. But it looks like, you know, you've got that knight of coins over here moving forward in life and focusing on your work, so you found your pathway again. Even though you feel like this is the autumn of your life, you can see all these leaves are falling, so something has ended, something has died off in your life. Um, you are now moving towards stability and you're focusing on your work, it seems, with that knight of coins. Now, uh, in the past, you've got the strength card over here. So it seems like you've decided that you're not listening to anybody's advice. You can see this ha woman's hands on this man's mouth. Uh, so whatever he's saying, she's not really giving it any thought. She's got her hat on, so she's thinking for herself there. Uh, and she's not really listening to anybody else. She's drawing from her own strength and her own independence. So it seems like that's where you are coming from in this last few months. Uh, you've been, uh, you know, taking a stand for what you believe in and saying what you want, and you're not listening to any, what, in, what advice anybody's uh, got to give. So you are doing your own thing over there. And you've got the eight of teacups. It looks like you've left behind that difficult situation. You can see this woman's in this carriage, and she's driving away from that house. So whatever that relationship was, a very it was a very established relationship. Like I said, it could have been a marriage because you've got that ten of coins over there. So that's the end of that relationship. Uh, and you've moved away from it. Uh, you've let it go. So you've got the nine of candlesticks on your mind. Um, you can see there's, you know, um, something going on over here. Maybe you're discovering some secrets that were hidden from you. Um, and, uh, you know, you can see this woman's with a torch in the dark. Uh, and this is bringing light, uh, enlightening you. So some secrets are being revealed to you. Now, with the Ten of Candlesticks or the Ten of um, um, Wands, it's about standing up for yourself you know, uh, against all the odds and, uh, you know, going into your reserves of strength. So you maybe there was a lot of battles or arguments or fights or dramas within this relationship and you're really sick and tired of it and, uh, you know, um, you're just holding out and you're very exhausted after all of this that you've been through. So it's usually the card uh, that signifies the last battle uh, and, you know, having to draw from your reserve strengths to sort it out. In this particular deck, you can see this woman's almost sneaking around or she's just trying to, to find out information. Um, and, uh, you know, this is the case. Maybe you are delving into the past to try and find out what was going on. There was something that was sneaky going on behind your back and you really didn't know about it. So going to the future, you've got that seven of quills, and this is showing uh, sneaky behavior. So you, this is almost as though you are you intuitively know something was wrong, something was not quite 
um, you know, above board there with that nine of candlesticks and you're going around looking for the answers. And then you've got that seven of quills over here, which is, you can see this woman stealing. Um, so whatever was going on, or this person uh, that you were dealing with was uh, doing things uh, behind your back, uh, sneaking around. Uh, you know, there was a loss on your particular part um, and this person was lying quite a bit. So this is the energy that you still seem to be dealing with, uh, you know, or you're discovering that about that particular person. Now, coming up for you, what's going on with you? You've got the two of coins over here. So uh, the, it looks like there's a new relationship that will be coming your way and it is going to be somebody that you're going to be meeting on the work front. So there might be some kind of social event, uh, you know, on the work front because you've got that two of coins over here and you can see these two people meeting each other there. Uh, and it looks like uh, that is where you might end up uh, meeting somebody that you get very, very interested in. Um, you know, uh, somebody that you're working with starting to show interest in you. Now, um, you've got the devil card over here. So you're, um, you know, whatever, whoever this person is that you're still dealing with, you, it, it looks like even though you, you've you moved away or you've ended that relationship with that particular person, it seems still that they're still trying to control you uh, by some means. Uh, manipulating you, um, t still taking, uh, you know, charge. Maybe, uh, you know, you um, you don't have the confidence to really act, uh, you know, independently and you're allowing them to do that because you can see this woman's pushing this uh, little girl around and she's got somebody kneeling at her. So this person that you're dealing with is a pretty toxic person. Uh, they're very, they're very much bully and uh, they seem to be still controlling you uh, maybe by some kind of means. And they're still using, you know, um, uh, <laughs> methods or, or ways that are very sneaky to do it. So they might be manipulating the people around you in order to get control off you. Um, and, uh, you know, and they're still lying. They're still saying things. They're very deceptive, uh, this person, because you've got the seven of calls next to the devil over there. So that particular person is quite sneaky. They're quite a manipulator. And they use a lot of lies as well to get their way. So just be aware of that. Now what you want is to uh, maybe travel a little bit. You've got the three of candlesticks over there. You want to see the world. Uh, you want to get out there. You're making plans for the future as well. So, you know, you're hoping, you're hoping for your freedom really and, uh, you know, getting to know a lot more people as well with that three of candlesticks. Now going into the future, You've got uh, the Lord of Coins, uh, you've got the Maiden of Candlesticks, and you've got the Maiden of Quills. There's a lot of people here. So um, the Lord of Coins could be, you know, somebody that you en end up um, having a relationship with. Uh, this person is, um, you know, very financially independent. Uh, they're in charge. Uh, they're a boss of something. So they're quite on the top of their ladder. They're somebody that likes to study as well. And they're also somebody that's very an analytical, a very an ambitious person who's got a really good focus on, you know, on money, on finances, knows how to handle things. So this is the person that seems to be coming into your arena soon. And maybe this is the person that you're going to be meeting on the week work front here with this two of coins. But they're quite established, uh, you know, in themselves. They're quite independent as well. You've got that maiden of quills over here. So this is about you focusing on that work uh, um, and, uh, you know, concentrating on uh, getting the job done, really. Uh, you're still, you know, you're spending time with friends, uh, but this is about, uh, you know, isolating yourself. So maybe this person is going to make some kind of approach to you. Uh, but right now, maybe you're getting over this relationship that you're uh, going through and you don't seem to be that interested uh, it seems like the, the work seems to be the only thing that's on your mind at the moment. Now, you've got uh, the um, maiden of candlesticks over here. And you can see this woman's, uh, you know, looking at herself in the mirror and maybe doing some self-reflection as well. So you're spending a lot of time by yourself, having gone through a lot of difficulties with that maiden of quills. Uh, but you're also doing a lot of uh, soul searching, it seems. There seems to be some friends around you that are giving you that support and advice and help. And maybe you're starting to see yourself in a different light as well. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe you like what you see as well because you can see, uh, you know, she 
her, she looks quite pleased with who she's becoming. So you are emerging victoriously over the situation and you're transforming. You're undergoing a transformation at this particular moment. So doing a lot of self-searching, uh, maybe spending a lot of time by yourself, but there seems to be somebody that's going to be interested in you um, and somebody who's very, very established a very learned person as well. So they're well ed educated. So that relationship could be coming in for you on that work front. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So you've got three Michael cards, which is about legal situations that you're still dealing with. So you've got the Knight of Michael, which says time to move quickly, choose logic and emotion over sudden changes. So there's some news coming in, uh, somebody bringing some kind of news in for you. Um, now, uh, the Knight of Michael, uh, you know, usually signifies a legal decision that is going to be made or, you know, you're dealing with that. Uh, but also, since Michael um, is, you know, um, like the Knight of uh, Swords, and Swords deals with air signs, and Libra is an air sign person, it looks like, you know, this card is signifying your energy. Um, you are moving forward. Uh, you know, you are um, leaving that past behind, and you are moving forward. There's some kind of decision that you have to make, and you're going to have to act quickly on it. So maybe if this relationship comes into your arena, you are going to have to make some kind of decision about it reasonably quickly. Um, you know, that Knight of Michael is bringing in news as well. But it's going to allow you to move away. You can see the sun's coming out from the clouds over here. So uh, this is going to, whatever this new relationship is, you're going to have to make a decision. And, uh, you know, it's going to bring in a lot of light into your life. You've got the Four of Michael over here that says sit insights that come from quiet meditation. A need to take more sleep and time off and seek relief from stress. So it looks like you do need to take some kind of break, some kind of holiday uh, and get away from that stressful situation. It's also a time for you to come up with a new strategy and a new plan, a new idea uh, with that Four of Michael. But you do need some rest. You've been very stressed out by all the events that have happened. Then you've got that Queen of Michael over here. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, and a time for your career rather than relationships. Now, it seems like you are focusing a lot on that career as well. You've got that uh, Maiden of Quills. Um, you know, there, and you are going undergoing some transformation. So, uh, you know, it looks like this person may make an offer to you, this uh, king of coins over here. So it could be an earth sign person. You could be dealing with um, a, a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo person, but it is somebody that is very, very well established. Now, you know, it might end up just being a, a very good friendship initially and then may develop into a relationship because you are going to be focused a lot on your career. Um, you know, it seems like with the Queen of Michael, which is the Queen of Swords, they tend, to, uh, you know, she tends to be somebody who has got, undergone a lot of problems uh, and now has decided to just, you know, uh, take time out um, from relationships in order to focus on herself. And, uh, you know, you're very determined to get, um, you know, over the situation. She's a very determined woman, but she's been through a lot, a lot of heartbreak. And uh, she's now getting to know who she is. And you can see that with that um, maiden of candlesticks doing a lot of self-reflection and trying to get over that difficult situation. So this card uh, says that, you know, it might be time for your career. Uh, maybe you need to heal first before you start a new relationship. Uh, you know, get to know yourself again. But the person that you're dealing with, you haven't quite severed ties with them yet because, you know, they still have some way in which they are controlling you. They are still manipulating you. And they're still using lies and deception to do that with that seven of quills. So just be aware of that. Um, you know, they have very, very sneaky behavior. And, uh, you know, you need to watch out for that. So uh, even if you start a new relationship with that two of coins, and there does seem to be somebody that you are interested in, um, you are still being manipulated by this person from the past. So you do need to break ties with them completely. First, heal yourself transform and then start a new relationship and in the meantime you know focus on your work focus on something else um, that gets you over any kind of emotional turmoil that you might be going on because distraction is the best um, way to start healing uh, you know when you start thinking about it and um, you know you come up with a new plan a new strategy on how uh, to deal with it uh, then you get your independence back and with that Four of Michael, you have gone through a lot. Uh, you know, you've gone through the ringer, really. Uh, and you do need to come up with a new plan on how to deal with whatever has happened. 
So I hope that this uh, reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.